Hello everyone, you've clicked on to the long range weather forecast discussion for November 11th to the 23rd. This is what we're forecasting the pattern to look like. We still have a ridge here over Western North America, centered here over Alaska, and we have a trough here in the east. Miles of good agreement as we go through the period and we come to the 15th, you see very little change in the overall pattern. Now we'll have a cold Canadian hide that will move out of the Rockies Monday and through the Central Plains and into the Ohio Valley by Wednesday. And the front in the east will send a low off the New England coast, which will bring snow to the northwest of the track and lake effect snows for the Great Lakes. This will also bring well below normal temperatures. Anomalous deep trough midweek will induce a surface low along the east coast and we're going to talk about that right now um, Here is the GFS We're gonna go here. This is a GFS and we start seeing low. This is Sunday 7 a.m. Sunday night And you see the low drops to near Virginia now. This is the key. It's over land and then lifts then lifts northeast now here is where the 540 line is whoops well hold on this is where the 540 line is and this is snow this is rain mix so forth so then we go forward Tuesday 7 a.m. and then uh, Tuesday 7 p.m. Then it's some snow, but look where the low is way up here. This is a wrap around with the frontal system This is the GFS now uh, also we're going to look at the GFS is Okay is the upper air For this region now this is the upper air notice where the zero line is this red line comes up through central Jersey across the Demarva area and then we go to the period this is where we, see where the 540 line is to the north this is monday morning then tuesday it's even further north then it starts coming back down 7 a.m tuesday and then it goes through choosing that that's the uh gfs now we're going to look at the european you see the low it tracks um, further inland to New England and then we'll look at the upper air let me see if I can get it. okay this is the upper air notice where the zero line is here across central Jersey this is the um, 850 millibar vorticity and temperatures and then it kind of creeps up Monday night then it goes to the north then it starts sinking south again. This is like 7 a.m. on Tuesday. So it's a little quicker. It brings a colder air in quicker. But we have to watch this. There's a lot to to be settled in the near future. Uh, we'll, we'll follow this. And um, elsewhere, the low deepens over Virginia and tracks to the west of the major metropolitan areas. And GFS is a little further. Okay, we're going to look at at the we already talked about that we're going to look at the period for november 14th to the 18th and the panel remains amplified still have a ridge here over western north america trough in the east and then we have an upper load that approaches the Aleutians. so for this forecast period i'm forecasting above normal temperatures for the west and we'll forecast in numbers 8 to 12 degrees above normal. Then we have below normal temperatures from the plains to the Atlantic coast. And we'll forecast anomalies of 6 to 12 degrees below normal. For precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for this region. Probability of occurrence is 35 to 45%. And then we have above normal precipitation here. And the probability of occurrence is 40%. As we get to the later part of the forecast period, this is for November 19th to the 23rd, our models are showing a gradual flattening of the flow, you might say, or weakening of the flow. If you come to the 23rd, GFS still has a trough ridge configuration, but if you look at the other models, 
it's there. The height anomaly fields are still there, but they're a little weaker compared to what they have been, especially when you look at the, um, the this is the NAEFS. It's it's a lot weaker. Look at even um, the year the GEFS. It's a lot weaker, almost a zone of flow. So for this forecast period, I'm still forecasting above normal temperatures here, but the anomalies won't be as as high. I forecast anomalies about four to six degrees above normal and below normal temperatures. Forecast here. This would be the highest anomalies forecasting about four to six degrees below normal. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation for the west and the plains, forecast a uh, probability of occurrence is 35 to 45 percent. And then we have above normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence is 40 percent. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for November 11th to the 23rd. Thanks for coming to Jim Unley's World of Weather and have a good day.